Hey guys, wanted to make this video to show you how I have set up my bike single speed without having to buy an aftermarket chain tensioner, chain, and potentially a chain ring. Basically, the last couple of years, I've experimented on a few different single speed setups on my free ride bike. Um, I've tried aftermarket chain tensioners, some expensive ones too, um, and I've just found that this works pretty good. It's also an easy and cheaper way to set it up, so I figured I'd share with you um, the way I have it set up. I'm going to be showing how I used a 11-speed drivetrain, um, mean chain, and pieces of the cassette to make a single-speed setup that works quite well. Um, typically, you can't use um, multi-speed cogs or cogs from a cassette for single speed use and the reason for this is that they have shifting grooves on them and these are grooves engineered into um, the cog to allow the chain to easily go from one gear to another and what this can cause is chain slippage if you're just using one of those as a single speed cog but the way i have this set up um, is by using additional cogs as kind of barriers on either side of the uh, gear of our choice. So let's go over the drivetrain setup here. As you can see, we've got a couple main cogs on the back. We have our center cog, which the chain is actually on. We've got our side cogs. The teeth have been ground down for aesthetic purposes. Basically, these cogs on the outsides, uh, they just keep the chain super in there not going to get derailed. They're going to keep the shifting grooves from working, which we want. Um, super durable. We've done some testing with this. Uh, buddy and I went to Green River, Green River Classic in the Hills Gang. Shout out to you guys. Um, so we, we had no issue even with riding some drops, jumps, free ride, stuff like that. And then we also have our fourth cog here. This cog is basically standard practice with any sort of single speed setup. That's just to use, take advantage of the micro knurling on that cog so that our cassette lock ring is extra in place, extra sturdy. Um, we also are utilizing the derailleur. Um, this is cool because this is again, if you have a drivetrain already that is used for shifting, you can use this as the chain tensioner. Um, these work great in multi-year setups and they work great in a single speed application as well. We're also using our stock chain. We're not using any proprietary single speed chain, no half link chain, nothing crazy like that. We're still using that, um, that stock chain. Again, if this is eight speed, it works. If this is 12 speed, it works. Assuming that the chain, um, the cassette you're taking parts from and the derailleur are all um, of that speed, which they probably should be if you're starting from this spot. And then as far as the chain ring goes, standard chain ring. So we're really working with all the, the parts that have come on the bike. And whether you decide to use the parts that are on there that came on the bike, or maybe find some, some used parts at the local bike shop, something like that, you can do that as well. Next up, we have the actual derailleur itself. Um, in this case, in order to get the derailleur to move out and line up with your cog that you've put up, we're going to use a derailleur cable and we're going to actually put the derailleur cable in the same way we would on a regular derailleur. We're going to put it through here. In this case, I have a barrel adjuster. This is a basic brake barrel adjuster. And it's going to go through there. It's going to go around and through routed like a normal the radar cable would. In this case, we can actually use this and adjust the tension in such a way that it actually lines up perfectly with the cog. And then from there, you pretty much got a set tension. It's gonna line up. You may have to do some fine adjusting so that there's no rubbing or any issues like that. But once it's set, you pretty much set and forget it. The other upside of having a barrel adjuster here is we can actually use that barrel adjuster to fine tune how this is lined up. You can start pedaling, you'll hear some noise from the derailleur, and as you tighten or loosen this barrel adjuster, you can get it to quiet the system up. 
you're probably thinking, yes, this is a little bit unorthodox of a system, but I think it does work. And having written this on some gnarlier things, I honestly believe by it and feel completely confident when using this for free ride type stuff. Um, if you have a better setup or something like that or a way to improve upon this setup, let me know and thank you for watching.